Jay and welcome to Dave's Model Workshop. It's Dave. Hi. Um, just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on what I'm working on at the moment. Um, I have just recently finished a build of a building called the Lonesome Road Folk Coffee Lounge, which is a spectacular name, and I'm just about to start a Masonic temple. So it's all pretty esoteric stuff, but um, I'm finding it really satisfying. I'll show you what I've got. Here we go. So this is the Lonesome Road Coffee Lounge, the Folk Coffee Lounge. Uh, I'll show you a couple of decent photos of it, but you get an idea from this video. I'm running out of storage space because of all these, it's really tough. Yeah, I'll show you some photos. And I'll also show you what a mess my workspace is now. So I've got a whole bunch of foam here. A whole lot of crap on the floor. A whole lot of crap here. Well, crap. Tools. All my tools here. And then this is what I'm working on at the moment. So this is a Masonic temple here in Melbourne. And what I really like about it, um, that's the real thing, is that it's just so grungy. There's this beautiful mix of really ornate, over-the-top grandeur, and then it's covered in this filthy graffiti and all the windows are broken. So. I think it's a really interesting mix for me. Yeah, I just thought that was you know, something that's worth investigating. Here are all my sketches. Let's move this out of the way and show you these. So you can see where I've had to work out all my scale dimensions. That's what's involved in each one. So the red is scaled downsize. The Pencil is actual real size in centimeters. And um, yeah, I'm doing this at 135th scale because otherwise it would just be massive. Well, yeah, you can see how big the real thing is. Well, the real thing, the scale thing is here. It's about 35 centimeters long. Let's check. Yep, 34. So once there's a base on that, it's going to be about 37, 40 centimeters. So it's big. Um, yeah, but I'll show you some decent photos now of the Folk Coffee Lounge. I've also got two kits that I recently bought. So one is this Junkers JU88 in 148th scale. 40 bucks, bargain. And the other is this Wingnut Wings AMC DH2, complete with figure, 132nd scale. So both of these I'd really like to build. And when I started building all of these things, I thought, when I started building my, my miniature buildings, I thought, oh, I'm going to need a break from this. I'm going to be doing this, you know, five, six days a week. I'm going to need some time to actually build model models, you know, kits. Um, I thought, this won't be satisfying. This will be like a job to me. You know, I'll need a break to actually do some enjoyable modeling time. Hence, spending a chunk of money on this, and hence getting a bargain on this. This only arrived about a week ago. Um, but... I haven't felt the need. I've, I really enjoy when I'm making these guys. Um, so much so that I, I, you know, I want to build airplanes because I love building airplanes, but I love scratch building more. I really want to get in and start you know, building these. If I have any spare time, these are what I want to be doing. Oh, I'll show you something cool. So, this 
is a ridiculously ornate, let's get some focus, a ridiculously ornate window decoration that goes around these little bottom windows just down here. And everything on this building is so ridiculously tizzy and ornate, all that decoration. I reckon I'm going to be spending days just making decorations for this. Which is, you know, I guess part of the reason I like the building. So yeah, so yeah, I'm really enjoying building these things and I'm surprised myself that I'm not spending, feeling more of an urge to get onto these guys. Ouch. <laughs> so just sitting there doing nothing after $150. Um, yeah, I'm really not feeling, uh, yeah, I, I would like to be building a Wingnut Wings kit, but... I'm loving scratch building more, which is a very satisfying problem to have, but um, I am surprised, I really am. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm loving scratch building miniature buildings. Uh, I still am tempted by these things, and I'm still adding to the hall, which is ridiculous, <laughs> but I'm not feeling the need to be building them, um, because I'm enjoying these more. Who knows, that might change, but... Yeah, I am surprised that I didn't, that it didn't work out that I need model kit relief from scratch building. Just goes to show how good scratch building is. Everyone should try it. All right, guys. So that's where I'm at today. Um, I'll sign off now. If you've got any questions or comments, please chime in below. But otherwise, I'll catch you next time on Dave's Model Workshop. See you later. Have a good week.